All right, guys, Joey Chaser. We're back in the bush. I haven't been out for a long time, guys. All right, so we're in... Um, I had to get me filming sorted out. I'm going having a shocker. This is Ormo Hills, guys. This is where... Um, yeah, the road is just down there with the shower we were seeing. Probably somewhere along there. You might have come out through here. Um, down there, I don't know if you can see that. There's the quarry in the background. The quarry's over there. Straight down here, there's a creek. Everyone used to fall or drive up these creeks. All over here, all the way through, guys, is all my hills. And, um, yeah, there's, I've spoken to people in here that used to fall or drive. They always, all the girls always felt weird in here. Because they, they, they'd stay in the car and the guys would be out talking, getting bogged or whatever. So, um, they all said the same thing. So, if you look down the bottom there, that's where we are. We're right here. There we are, see you there, there we are. So this guy was driving up this road here. Can you see that? Yeah. So he says the road, right? He was driving up here. And somewhere along here, I believe, is where he seen the Yowie, which come from in here. And went this way, he's saying. So you wouldn't think it'd be in here, but it's probably smart. The Yowies are smart. So probably no one would be in here looking, whereas in here, all night, four-wheel drive, just to drive around all night. But the thing that amazes me about this last story... Alright, what have we got here? Looks like someone was in here, seeing a yowie. Oh, what's this? Oh, I know. The SAS have been here painting their, their um, ghillie suits. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Let's get down to this river. I don't know. You know what, guys? I'm that unfit. All right? I could walk down to this river and not make it back up. You know, I could go missing. All right? A lot of people would be happy about that. <laughs> you know what? My great, I brought my great wall in here, right? A couple of times. So I was telling the story in that last video. Down here, I was coming down this massive hill, right? And these guys are walking up. They're puffing. They're a bit overweight. You know, they're young. They're, you know, trying to get fit. And I said, hey guys, he's going, yeah, good mate. Seen any yowies? No, what's a yowie? Told him. I said, they're in here, man, watch out. I go, are you, are you for real? I said, yeah. And I think they left. I don't think they train. Come back in here anymore after that. Anyway, the great wall I was in here one day. And the clutch started making funny noises. Throw out bearing or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, not long after that, after a few trips through here. Oh, actually, I was at Jim Boomba. You won't believe it. I was at Jim Boomba. I was at the pub. I was at the, was at the pub having a drink. And I left there. <laughs> and he had low alcohol. Had a few left. And I got up to, just before you get back on the Mount Lindsay Highway. And I lost, um, I lost the clutch. I'm like, no, and I thought I've got to get home to where I live, which is nowhere near Jim Boomba. Anyway, so I, what I did was I jammed it into third gear, right? Like, clutched it, jammed it in the third, drove home with no clutch. I got all the way to where did I get to? Oh, do you know where Park Ridge? Oh, I went to Park Ridge Pub then. I got to the lights there, I think it's Green Road. There's a, got to there. And I was just pulling up at the lights, and I'm going slow because I don't, I can't change gears because it's just stuck in my gear. Next thing, bang! That was it. No gears, no nothing. That was the end of me little great wall. That that thing was actually pretty good, eh? People bag them out. I reckon it was great. I could have been driving for you instead of walking. All right, so still got a bit to go. We're getting there. Now, hey, anyway, hey, does anyone know anything about electric bikes? Like, I don't want crap, I want a good one. I've got a, um, I've still got my bike that I crashed, my KDM 450 2015 model. It's a good bike. I got it, I brought it off a guy who's an engineer for, oh, Virgin. Virgin? One of those, one of those mobs, one of those plane mobs. But I'm thinking about I should sell it and um, get an electric bike, and that way I could, I don't know, come through here. I don't know. Does anyone know anything about them? Is that, is that a good choice? 
on his wreck and then I can get to more areas because I might um I haven't been out for a while because of just the way life is I've had the it's been chaos but maybe an opportunity's come out now where I can get out a bit because I love doing this I love just walking through the bush for miles and miles never find any but we got we um, we got some better information now guys well, even this, what I'm doing now, is probably a waste of time because if you see Yowie, it's just going to be by fluke that one happens to come here. If you want to get to where they are, you got like I tell, I tell everyone, you got you got to walk the ridges, you know. But I don't even follow my own advice. It's just that I've come out here today, but let's have a look. Let's go for a walk down here. Let's go up to this corner. See what's up here. Now that there's no um, four-wheel drives in there, um, the yellows are probably back in. Obviously bikes have been coming through, you can see the tracks. Yeah, I don't want to get I don't want to get back on a bike in case I kill myself properly. <laughs> I'm not scared, but you just never know. If you're out here on your own, you have an accident. You know what, before I had a motorbike accident? I didn't care about nothing. <laughs> now, now it's changed my whole life on safety. Weird, eh? It just, it just shows anything can go wrong at any time. And I was doing nothing wrong. All right, guys, while we walk along here and I film, I can just blabber on. All right? So we've got a lot of new subscribers now. Thanks, guys, for joining. Appreciate it. Thanks to all the people sending in their sightings. We're just getting hammered with sightings. Was, there's still a few good ones I've got to tell. Because, well, what are they? Are they bees? Oh my god. Oh, fucking bees are stinging me. Holy shit. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, got me in the foot, man. I wasn't even doing it, you little assholes. Well, they're swarming me, man. Get back there. Get back to mama. I'll smack you. Little bastards. I'm not going that way. Let's have a look at the damage. See, there's all the stuff there. Starting to swell up just there. Nothing bad, but it hurt. And there was heaps of them. Well, I'm not going that way. They're guard, they're guard bees. All right. <laughs> how can how can you be scared of a little bee? <laughs> well, it hurt. <laughs> Assholes. Whoa, whoa, don't fall in. Anyway, I forget where I was at. So that ended badly. Um, we ain't going near the bees. All right, we'll get out of here. What was that? All right, that's all we got for today, guys. I'm getting out of here because the bees have got me. I'm scared of little bees. It's actually hurting, hey? It must be a wuss. I had to get out of there, man. They just started swarming me. I thought I was going to get attacked from everywhere. Oh, maybe I walked on one. <gasps> they must have been on the ground. I stepped on one. That's probably where they got me. I could just see him. I wanted the video picks it up. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll go somewhere else. Look at this. This will be good fitness for me. They reckon you have memory. What is it? Muscle memory. Let's see if I've got muscle memory. I'm pretty old, guys. I've got to get fit. I'm still going all right. All right, let's end this video. I've got any signs from around here. Let's see how we go. All right, see you.